There's the Japanese necktie. I'm gonna try to go left. Post. Man, and every time, every time this guy, it's making it even worse. See that? I should call this video facing the lag switcher. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J Baby from Ricky J Sports, and today we're going to be using El Kakui. <laughs> Tony Ferguson, man, what a victory. He is just a monster. But we're going to be using Tony Ferguson, some rank fights, using my fake account, which I'm going to reveal real soon, man, real soon. So let's get in on it. Hopefully we'll do two, maybe three fights. Hang on, people. Oh, here we go, people. <sighs> Gilbert Melendez, man. Gilbert Melendez, our first fight. Now, I just want to tell you guys that Ferguson, man, he should be so much better. They should have updated his stats. Like, he's in the 80s overall, all across the board. So here we go, non-title fight. Hey, <laughs> Al-Kakui. Oh, look at this. There's the heel hook. Oh, he denied it. We're in trouble. That was awesome. You got to be unpredictable. You got to play the part. Oh boy. And this is a. You tell this guy. Practices his ground game. Oh, but El Kakui. Showing that the boogeyman is real. So let's see. Apparently, his submissions are awesome. And you guys know that. Oh, looking for his back. oh I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to now he's got his back. suplex him. Nice. Gets him back down. Three minutes. Trying to frustrate him, people. He managed to transition even though I connected. And he's got some good effectiveness going with the ground and pound. Yeah. Why not Kamora action? Oh. Go up the middle. Go up the middle. Oh, he did. Oh, I didn't actually think he was going to do it. Trying to fight off a takedown here. Nice. Good work from the clinch. The dog fight. They battle in the clinch, looking for a dominant position. Solid punch by Ferguson. All that all started for me doing that Iminari roll. Oh, he's getting his face. Look at Tony. To the body. Joe, he continues to put together great combinations. Good job blocking the punch. Great punch by Ferguson. Nice combination there. See, I'm waiting for him Ferguson to unload on some fight. wild combo. That was a nice jab. He's been landing a lot of uppercuts in this fight. They could be a big factor. He's kind of this guy is a little long Joe when it comes nice to his um Good combinations landing here. He's got heavy legs. Oh boy. When it comes to his Man, I can't even talk. You know what I mean when it comes to his combinations. Ferguson with a good connection. He missed on that jab. That's a hard inside leg. That's a big uppercut. Wow, I don't know if we won that round. But if we won that round, time for a nice little drink. All right, let's see if we could have a cleaner round. I don't think we won that round. Look for him to set up that uppercut. Got to make a miss, Edmund. Yeah. Ferguson with a nice straight to the body. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. That's a nice knee by Melendez. Wow. Solid left. 
guy's a brawler Good slip by Ferguson. Man, he can't take too many of those bodies. yeah let's go boy he's long be careful against some of these guys man this guy is in my face but he's not doing the best job with the stamina it's time to be long man I'm throwing more punches now the amount of damage that has been done to his body makes you wonder if he's got a broken rib or two yeah look at Ferguson getting in his face nice kick to the body man he connects with the right and the left great job landing a series yeah. of punches Ferguson with a solid kick yeah getting the better of the exchanges oh he ducked under that oh nice little head kick action he just slipped the left got him with the right his head, his head is getting red, man. Just gotta watch my stamina. Wow. Yeah, he didn't like that. It's like he had pepper spray in his feet. <laughs> he kind of like <laughs> squinted away. Oh, oh no. Jeez. Gotta be patient here. <laughs> yeah, taste of your own medicine. Jeez, he's getting off. Tony seems slow. Oh, very nice. They got to upgrade, though, the stats on some of these guys. He's the best lightweight, you know, top two. And he's slow. Man, who won that round? We could easily be down two rounds to love people. That was a good performance by Ferguson, though, man. I felt bad for Lee. Lee was good, but then he just didn't have the best stamina. You could blame it on the staff infection. But everybody that faces Ferguson just has a hard time. Yeah, let's go, boy. Come on. Oh, my. Tony Ferguson type around. Oh. Oh. <laughs> See, we don't want this guy's going to try to like just stall. Oh, this is good. This is good. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, <laughs> Melendez is on the ropes. Or on the cage. Oh, it's got to be over. What a comeback, man. What a comeback. Oh, my gosh. You know what? That was the first fight ever where I just couldn't talk properly. <laughs> I was just short of words the whole time. But a fantastic fight. A nice little comeback man I was in this guy's face I was implementing the Ricky J rhythm are you intoxicated <laughs> that, that Bisbing GSP press conference I don't think I've laughed that hard before while watching a press conference than that one Bisbing's hilarious because GSP I don't know if you guys watch it but GSP had no 
Um, he had no really trash talk. He doesn't. He's not really a good trash talker. But he had nothing really to say. And every time Bisbing said something, GSP kept on saying, "Are you intoxicated?" And then Bisbing's like, "That's all you got, George. Are you intoxicated? That's it." Yeah, I'm intoxicated. But anyway, let's get on another fight, man. Hang on. Oh boy, I don't know if you guys ever saw this fight in real life, but. It was a bloody war, man, and I'm not saying that to, to swear. They were both really bloody, and Barbosa was landing shots, but Ferguson has a chin of granite. And again, the same thing he did to Lee is what he did to Barbosa. Barbosa just ran out of gas, and then Barbosa went for a takedown, and then Lee just snapped on a nice little choke and choked him out. It was crazy. If you have, if you have a chance... You can find it on YouTube, man. UFC posted it. It's a great fight because if you see it in the beginning, Barbosa is just so fresh with his strikes, and then he just fades as the fight went on, and then he lost. So here we go. We got to watch out for Barbosa's kicks because you know this guy, that's what he's going to be doing. Got to watch out. But see, it's a five-round fight, and this may be the only fight, the last fight we, we show here. Oh, leg switch action. But I am content with letting this guy throw his kicks. Because after, after the second round, you know, this guy's going to be tired. And he's tickling my leg. Tickling the old leg. Uh-oh. Yeah, do it. Do it. <laughs> this is uncut and raw, man. See, I don't want to be kicking too much. Look at this guy. Every time I throw a punch, it's leg switch action. I don't think he's leg switching me. It's just, oh boy. Got to back out of that. Go for it. Switch stands. Nice jab. He scores with the leg kick. Joe, that's another nice leg kick by Barboza. Joe, that's another big head kick. His opponent needs This guy's throwing, man. <laughs> don't worry. I made a video about leg spammers. I don't know if you can call this guy a leg spammer. But you just keep on switching stands, man. Keep on switching stands. Let him do his thing. Let him do his thing. And I'm just in his face. And I'm okay with... Um, I'm okay with this pace right now. The key too though is when people play this game, they tend to rush, man. Don't rush. Don't rush. I know what this guy's trying to do, but look at that stamina. Yeah. Gotta watch out and check those leg kicks, Joe. You can't take We're fighting legs. leg. <laughs> We're fighting the leg kicks. I'm gonna try to maybe. Oh, I'm showing him. Let's clinch. Why not? Let's see. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what this guy's got, man. Oh. A little moral victory right there. A little moral victory action. So we could try to initiate that clinch again. But you know what? I'm going to open up a little bit on the feet. I'm going to beat him at his own game. It kind of reminds me of, remember that Thundercats episode? I don't know if you 80, if there's any 80s kids out there. When Lionel, in order to be like the true Thundercat like leader, he had to beat everybody at their 
at their discipline. And the best episode I've ever, I ever saw, man, was when he faced off against uh, Chitara in a, in a race. And Chitara, she, remember, she was a cheetah, and she was the fastest. And it was a long-distance race. And in the beginning, Lionel was getting killed. But then at the end, he came back, man. He came back, and he beat her. And I remember being in tears as a kid, saying, like, you know what? Anything's possible. <laughs> That's deep. And we're and what I'm where I'm going with this is that we gotta beat Barbosa at his own game, which is a stand-up game. Oh, big shots! Oh, I had <laughs> Kimura action. Oh, he's leg switching. What is going on? I've never had it where, oh man, I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's so laggy when it comes down to those key moments. Come on, let's Lionel, let's Lionel him. Yeah, and now you're trying to go for a takedown, come on boy. We're trying to beat him at his own game. He's in trouble, this guy. He's throwing kicks, man. Weathering the storm of lag. Jeez, you still gotta respect them, though. Oh. You serious? <laughs> There's the Japanese necktie. I'm gonna try to go left. Man, and every time, every time this guy, it's making it even worse. See that? I should call this video facing the leg switcher. I didn't think it exists, but I guess we're just, we just have to beat him at his own game. Oh, look, look, and now it's super, super laggy. Look at this. Look at this. You can barely move. This guy is the biggest cheese ball ever. We're going to mount him. Let's mount him. Mount him and pound him. Oh, it's over. Leg switchy, nighty, nighty. And he quit. What a cheapo. I should call him El Cheapo. But anyhow, people, thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some Tony Ferguson action. He's amazing, man. He's good. They got to upgrade his stats, though, to make him even better. Anyhow, people, this is Ricky J. Baby from Ricky J. Sports. And as always, you are awesome.